Hey everybody, we are here today, day 29 of Artie Fartober 2023. We're in the last few days of the month and uh, wrapping up this challenge and I have really enjoyed this challenge, but I will say this, I'm ready for it to be over. <laughs> you know, that's how challenges are when you tackle them and the first of the month is going great and you're really into it. And by the end of the challenge, especially if it's a month-long challenge or longer, to me, hi, it's a it's a workout. Um, it's a mental workout. It's a physical workout. It's a time management workout, and it's a creative workout. It's it's just an overall workout. But I'm not complaining because I thoroughly enjoy doing the challenges because it, while it is a challenge. It gets me creating, it gets me in my space, it gets me time with you guys. Um, and I'll do my regular um, disclaimer. I live by the airport, um, there's airplanes flying by. So you'll, you'll hear that in the background. My doors and windows are open, the weather is nice. Um, October is my favorite time of the year because of the weather and because I can spend most of it with my doors and windows open. So you may hear an occasional wind chime or my neighbors chatting or whatever. So that's that. So let's get to it. Day 29 is gnomes. And I have, um, I have a piece of an image uh, already down for us just kind of to so we avoid the blank space um, but I don't know that it's really going to help us with my thought process here I have this image from a magazine um, an, a local Arkansas magazine um, about some different murals that are around town around state this one um, this is a mural in Fayetteville which is up north about two and a half hours north of me and apparently it's on like a bench, but there's these gnomes painted on the back, on the back splash of it. I think that's too cute. Of course, it won't all fit. Um, so we are going to trim us down a little bit. And I want to kind of try to capture all of this. I want to try to keep all of this um, because there are three little gnomes on here. And I kind of want to keep this right here. Um, this was on a big page, and it says, Funny and Fierce, Fateville Murals, Gnomes Above, and Athena. So apparently there was another Athena uh, mural on this page, but we're not, we obviously didn't keep that. And um, so I'm going to cover that up as well. Um, so I want to start by just getting these little gnomes down on the page. I understand it's going to cover up a lot of this background. And um, I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, I'm okay with that. You know, it's just kind of one of those things. I, I, the challenge for me with this this monthly challenge is to kind of just play and not do things I normally and do things I normally would not do. And normally I would preserve this image below and not cover this up with um, that. But we're not doing that. So I have these little tags here and I'm thinking this one is the cutesy little tag I wanna use. It says, you shall see wonders. And set that aside. And I want to round our corners, but not with our big corner rounder, because we're so small. We'll just do a little corner round. You shall see wonders. Okay, and my thought process is, I have these two little pieces here. They were uh, die cut pieces. And I wanted to kind of add that as kind of a I don't know. What is that? Just an extra accent. And I want to cover up down here about Athena. And my thought process with covering this up is that I could use it as a little tuck spot and we could tuck our little card in there. 
either way. So that's where I'm going with this piece. A little bit of collage, a little bit of tuck spot stuff. Um, glue's drawn over. Get that out of the way. And we want to tuck over here, so we'll glue on this side. I'm gonna squeeze it right here. Again, to cover up where we were talking about Athena down there, because we don't know who Athena is. She's not in our piece. I guess I could give some edging to these corners, but eh, we didn't. And this, like I said, I just think it's a cute little piece. It doesn't really, I could do like that and have it hang off the edge, but I really don't want to do that. So I just was kind of thinking we could add it here. I could leave it flappy, just glue the, this top part down. Could do that. Or I don't know. <laughs> I just, it matched this, and that was my thinking, kind of to bring it all together. That was my initial thinking. What do you think? It's kind of a weird little collage, but I feel like it needs something. So, okay, we're going to do this. We're just going to do it. And we're not going to glue down the... We're just going to leave it as a flap. Things have been flappy lately, so I guess I'm on a flappy kick. So we'll just keep on with that and leave it flappy for whatever reason. We're not sure. I kind of am inclined to... Give me a little bit of brown around the edges of this. And of course the back can be a little journaling card space. We shall see wonders. There you go. Gnomes. A little bit of collage, a little bit of tuck spot, a little bit of flappy do. I think, again, um, this challenge, especially recently, has been a lot of quick creates. I won't say quick collages because I've done uh, some other things besides just collage. Um, so quick creates, I guess, is what we'll call them. Um, but I think that's good. I'm okay with that. Day 29 gnomes. I'm okay with it because it kind of reminds me that I don't have to spend all day creating. I can just do a little bit and and we're good, you know. Um, so, and I think that's important. Uh, one of my hashtags that I use a lot is create every day. And I think it's important as artists that we create every day. Even if it's just a, you know... 10 minute little collage or 10 minute piece together something. I, you know, I think it's important every day. Which is another reason why I like doing these challenges because it, it quote unquote forces me to be in my art space for however long every day. So there you have it. Tomorrow is day 30 and purple is our prompt. I don't know what I got going on, but we got this purpley blue background started for us. So... That gives us something to work with. I have to dig through my stash and see what all I've got going on. And, um, so yeah, we'll be back tomorrow with that. Uh, thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe and do all those YouTube-y things. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow with purple. Bye for now.